I am a math teacher. Uh, I've been here for four years at Upper Canada College. When I came to UCC, I started at the prep school, and I've taught every grade level in the upper school. This year, I'm teaching the year one enriched. So I teach uh, foundation year, which is grade 10. Uh, math standard level and IB1. And I love what I do, which I think is important. But I come from a family of teachers. My mother, my grandmother, my great uncle, my grandmother's, you know, my great grandparents were teachers. Every math teacher will tell you they love calculus. For me, I like problem solving. Like, I, I like that you can take some real world kind of scenario and make it into some math language, like translate it into a mathematical language. I love solving problems. Like, I do love that, ah, moment, I got it. I teach a lot of grade 11 boys, and I couldn't speak higher of them if I, if you were like, oh, Fatima, like, catch me on a bad day. They love working together, and that energy and of companionship between them is a really um, welcoming environment and really conducive to for a study on your own. They're willing to take risks. They really seem to enjoy the problems-based course. There are amazing kids here. We are, I, I mean, definitely. Definitely, I would say top in Canada. I don't know, can, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> uh, we, we do well. Like, we, we are pretty dominant. Whatever ideas the kids come up with, you know, we're here to support and make that happen. I think one of the things that's different in the way I teach is that it's all connected. Everything that I've taught from the beginning of the year is always fair game for a test. Maybe not excited, but they're, they're more willing to, like, do the process rather than just wanting to get the answer. Just by the looks on their faces, whether, whether that light bulb is going off or the blinds have been shut. You can see when they, when they start to see something, you can see the wheels turning in their heads and their eyes kind of light up and they, they're speaking louder. It's when they learn that, that concept or they can do that question, you can see the joy in their face and you're like, yes, this is why math is awesome. And I think your class takes on your own personality. I was like, well, do you see this? And how about this? And then all of a sudden, the entire class like erupted in applause because they, they were like, oh my God, it, it actually works. And I was like, yeah, it does. Like, isn't that amazing? It's really important to get the students to realize that not only can they understand really complicated ideas, but they can actually share it and help others understand it. We're all, we all work together really well. We have such a great collaborative environment. I think we're really good, actually. <laughs> Because I think we have a good balance. I think that's important. And they're all passionate about helping boys learn more about math. We plan all of our tests and assignments together and keep in very close contact with each other. We've done a variety of things within the classroom to differentiate for, for kids within our own classes. Um, we're using a lot of technology, but we're not. We're doing a bunch of different things. Looking at problems, looking at new situations, and you have to adapt. And that sort of adaptability that you get from these situations is critical, especially in a world where everything is changing so rapidly. Favorite number? My favorite number is four. 13, I don't know, it's always been my favorite number. 18 is my old baseball number. Oh, my favorite number is 18. I tend not to think of numbers as numbers. They're just sort of nice bad concepts. Pi is good. 3.14 and then that's it. 3.14, that's it. 3.14159. 3.14. You know, 3.1415926. I can keep going, but we're not going to do that. Math is awesome, yeah. <laughs>